Loblaws says it's testing a method to combat theft. The company says it's using receipt scanners at four of its stores. But some customers and consumer advocates are taking issue with how this new system works. CBC's Scott Peterson has the details. This is being called a test in some of Loblaw branded stores uh, as far as after having a self checkout, another barrier of, of leaving as far as having to scan your receipt after that self checkout, the barcode, and then uh, a gate opening and allowing you to leave the store. Here's a, uh, an example of what it actually looks like and you can see here that it looks for your barcode for the receipts and uh, then the gate on the right of your screen there opens to allow the customers to leave and there's a little bit of push back. Up to this point, there have been some stores, retail operations like Canadian Tire, Costco, Walmart, or Loblaw that have initiated checks and receipts just to make sure the self-checkout uh, is, is proceeding uh, honestly as it should. But this is the first time that we're seeing an escalation into an actual gate that does not allow customers to leave. It's being used uh, by uh, Safeway in the U.S. and also Sainsbury in the U.K. So Loblaw is not alone in using this technology but here's one customer and his experience and him watching customers use this machine to exit you know this is just kind of kicking them while they're down you know it's not only are they kind of just not in the best mood there and now they're they're kind of being implicitly told we don't trust you to do <laughs> to to do this work yourself or, or we think you're a thief you know they're kind of painting with a, a broad brush here right there's lots of motivations by big companies like Loblaw and why they're doing this. One is the amount of theft. There's a recent retail survey to shows that almost 25% of all goods stolen uh, uh, originates through self-checkout. But there is limitations in the legality as far as detaining people in effect uh, by not leaving once they've honestly paid their, uh, for their groceries in this instance. Here's one legal analyst on this issue. If they're stopping you and you feel like you don't have an ability to leave and uh, there is no basis for them to detain you, that qualifies as false imprisonment. It's bad enough with the prices, but the fact that you make uh, regular shoppers feel like criminals, that takes it a step too far. But the vast majority of shoppers uh, are legally checking out and checking their items out and see this as a real inconvenience. Scott Peterson, CBC News, Toronto.